Baltimore County mother has been missing for nearly 20 years. Michelle Rust vanished after making an apparent last minute trip to a store on the day of her three year old son's birthday. You know, Michelle's disappearance has been on the minds of many of our viewers who sent us a letter asking us to follow up as part of our Missing in Maryland series. So we're going to do that tonight. Here's WMAR 2 News Mark Roper with her story. A lot has changed in the Hailthorpe community since the summer of 2002, but one thing which hasn't changed is the love Ray and Gwen Linz have for their missing daughter, Michelle Rust. Every day I think about it, every day I go over everything, you know, hoping I might find, I might find something. The pain of having a daughter disappear has taken its toll on Michelle's father. It's a struggle for me to really get by the day. I mean, I had to go to a psychiatrist and a psychologist myself, and it sort of helped. But what well, he told me when I first went in, it's not going to go away. You just have, you know, you deal with it the best you can. Saturday, July 20th, 2002, Michelle Rust and her husband Dwight were planning to host a birthday party for their three-year-old son that day. I got a call that morning about 9.30 maybe quarter of 10. And Dwight called me and he said, do you know where Michelle is? And I said, no, I thought she was home. And he said, well, she went to the store. The family went on a search for Michelle right away. They checked several nearby Walmarts, hoping a surveillance camera might have caught a glimpse of Michelle on video, but there was no sign of the 24 year old missing mom. As we were going to the Walmarts, Gwen got a phone call and said that they found her van. They canceled the party, or we canceled the party. We knew she was missing, and everybody was just frantically looking for her. Everybody was looking, his family and our family, and his father ended up being the one that found the van. Here along Clyde Avenue near Zion Road in Lansdowne, a few miles from her house in Hailthorpe, is where Michelle's father-in-law discovered the first clue into her disappearance. We went over there and the van was there, the cops were, you know, the police were there and everything. And uh, it was her van, and the window was down about that far, you know. And uh, they looked for the keys, they went to the houses, and, you know, nobody had seen anything. Finding Michelle's 1998 Green Dodge Caravan, but no sign of Michelle, brought out Ray's worst fears. I mean, I just, I filled up. I, it just, it was a, just a natural emotion. It just... I just couldn't hold it back. Michelle's husband at the time, Dwight Russ Jr., declined to go on camera to talk about this case, but he thanks us for looking into Michelle's disappearance after all these years, and he hopes this will help things moving forward. Police say people who knew Michelle told investigators she had said if anything ever happened to her, that one of her husband's ex-girlfriends might be responsible. In the 20 years since, police have only ruled out two people as suspects in this case, Michelle's parents, Ray and Gwen Linz. So whom did they think is responsible for their daughter's disappearance? What we think really doesn't make any difference is what you can prove. But both Gwen and Ray do believe something terrible happened to their daughter and that she is dead. But we find peace knowing where she is because we believe in a God that's stronger and we believe that when you die, you have eternal life, you're gonna to go to heaven. And it's this family's faith which has brought them some closure. In Baltimore County, Mark Roper, WMER2 News. Well, for a look at the other cases that still need to be solved, head to our website, wmar2news.com slash Maryland Mysteries. And if you have a Maryland mystery, email us at storyideas at WMAR.com.